I'm Olivia and I'm going to show you a tutorial on how to make a paper snowflake star. It's really easy and fun and you're not going to need many things. You will need eight squares that are the same measurements to be able to do this project. And for the first steps, just these, the second steps, scissors, the third step, tape, and then the fourth to the last step, tape, maybe scissors, and a stapler. Also, a whole bunch. For the first step, you will fold your square into a triangle, like this. This is wrapping paper. You can do regular paper. You can also do, you can also do newspaper, any type of paper product, except for any type of paper product that has durability to it. And so then when you have it like this, cut the trim off if there's any showing. Mine's reversible, so I see the white part show, and so I'm going to cut that white part off. You can have different colors. Same color, or you can have reversible and then switch it off. Cool. Which is perfectly fine. And like this. Pause the video now to do this to all eight of your pieces of paper. It's always great to have an extra piece of paper once you get the hang of it in case any mistakes, which might happen, and it's very common to have more than one extra piece of paper if you are a beginner. When you're done with all eight of your squares, here's the next step. You take this square, do not unfold it, make sure it has a good crease, and you're going to fold it into another triangle, like this. And for the next step, the way you see it on camera is the way you should have it when you're looking at it. So do this for the all, all of the next eight squares that you have. Pause the video now. If you're worried about one of your reversible sides not showing, trust me, the next step will have it show. For this next step, you will need tape, scissors, and your folds, all eight of them. What you will do, you will have your paper facing this way, facing yourself, so the diagonal side on the right, and then you will take your scissors, cut about this width and you'll cut up to a quarter inch away from the edge. You can cut a little bit closer once you get the hang of it. Then cut, do that twice and then you'll have three little strips still attached. Do this to all eight of your triangles. The next step you will need tape. Make sure that it is not double-sided and that it is clear. It's very important. For the next step, this probably is the hardest. You unfold very carefully your cut triangle. Like this. Where the other side is showing. Instead of the one I had before it showing. Like this other side showing. Okay, and then what you're going to do, you're going to take a small piece of tape, you're going to take the first two cut edges like this, you're going to roll them together into a little sausage like this, tape it, over to where this side is showing where the tape isn't. And you do the same thing with the next two. So these two. Do the same thing. Make sure it's flipped over. It is very important. Okay. And this part is probably the hardest. You flip it over again. It is extremely important for the last part. You take the last two You tape it, and then this is what it should be looking like. It should have a pattern. It should be first one, second, first. Blue, white, blue. If that is not happening, then it is not right. Try it. 
it again. Do this for all eight of your triangles that are cut. The good thing about using clear tape is that when you're on this first step, even using white paper, if you cut a little bit too long of a piece of tape just to make it secure enough, because you want to be really careful, then the clear tape will not show. It's also great because there's other parts of this project where you're going to need will see the tape and that's why you want to use clear and make sure that if you do use clear you want to be careful with it and you do not want to touch it with your fingers too much because if you do then you will see a little pattern on the tape. For the next step you will need tape and your one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight papers paper fold like this. The next step, you'll take one of your pieces of paper, have a roll of tape like so, put it on the biggest side, so me for the blue side, then take another one, put it on the smaller side, so for me the white side, line it up in tape. Now, then you do the same exact thing again. Roll up a piece of tape, stick it on the big side, not the first one, the second one you put on, then do the same thing. And once you have all eight on, you will have the next step. So it will look like this, and then you can add on some more. This was something I did. You can add on some more. You can do it in groups when you're a beginner, or you can do it one at a time, like I'm doing right now. And yeah. Now, what you do, once you have all eight strands connected, it should be like this. Do not tape it in a circle at like so, or else that would be wrong. Now you can stop now and you can always have this as something to wrap around your tree. So you could always just add more until the width of your tree would work. And yeah, you can do that, but right now we're doing so, you're going to need a stapler for this part and tape, clear tape. What you're going to do, and this is extremely important, is take this blue side on the top corner, right here, and then, and then hold it together with the in white side part of this corner. And then you keep doing that all eight and have this have the staplers nearby so you do that Tie it like 
first step of the shoelace. Then you stop about right here, or where you want to stop. Do not go all the way. Then you do the first step of tying the shoelace again. you can hang it up wherever you want and that's your paper snowflake store.